Very good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my, my name is Poshini, and uh, today we are discussing a very unique case. Anup Singh, who is the founder of the D-Life community. And, uh, you know, he, we get to understand why he started this community and how, because it was inspired by his own story. Uh, nearly 13 years back, uh, Anup was diagnosed as uh, with high blood sugar. And uh, he started, uh, you know, understanding that being only pill oriented or medicine oriented is something that he didn't want for himself. And he was able to do a lot of changes in his health. But to give you a background, he is actually an IIT engineer. Uh, he was working uh, from Rurki. Is that right, uh, Anu? Yeah. yeah. Rurki. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll let him introduce himself more, but, uh, and uh, through the course, we through the course of our discussion, let's also discuss on what is D-Life and, you know, for those of you who are new here. So over to Anup, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us what happened in 2011? Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, see, I'll start with my diabetes history primary, education and all you have already told. So. February uh, 14th, 2011, it was a shock for me because my PPBS was 229 and FBS was 124, A1C not done. And uh, the doctor said, let's wait for, uh, you know, have one more weekly reading before we can come to any conclusion. Now, the second week reading was PPBS 200. And he did not take FBS, so he said, now you're a confirmed diabetic, start with it. And that time I weighed around 83 on a frame of about 5'8", five 5'8 five and a half. And walking, yes, that was the only solution available to me at that time. And uh, the issue was I could not walk for long. I think we have discussed. I used to face, you know, claudication on both the calf side uh, muscles. Even if I walked, let's say, around quarter of a kilometer. And I used to limp after that. Now, uh, as it happens with everyone, you know, for a diabetic, nobody is aware what diabetes is and it comes as a shock. And in desperation, then we start trying everything. Now, my desperate trial started with fenugreek tea because I thought, you know, it will reduce my blood sugar like uh, magically. Uh, two or three days, no effect. Then came down to all those uh, herbal... Uh, magical powders, you know, that did not work. And meanwhile, I was looking for everything that was, that could be done besides, of course, pill. So I came across a Western diet uh, forum, beef, bacon and egg. Essentially, the take home message was control your carbs. So that was the uh, <clears throat> message that I, you know, based my further uh, plan of action and that meant that uh, reducing carbs was easy, understood easily, increasing fat was a bit scary because of all those 40-50 years of brainwashing that had been done. But anyway, with no solution in sight, no one to guide as such. So I thought, you know, let's see where it goes and I started off. Meanwhile, I was doing you know, all those funny things like walking around, uh, slowly that claudication part uh, you know, improved a bit. So I could walk a bit, not to the extent that I could walk four kilometers per meal, uh, which happened subsequently. So that was it. And uh, May 2011, because all these desperate trials, reducing carbohydrate, you know, except that I did not try all those karela juice and uh, mint juice. Okay. So <clears throat> the A1C came down to 5.0. Now, that was the time when I thought, yes, everything is mastered. So, let's take uh, life easy. And uh, then in November 2011, uh, A1C shot back to 6.0. From then on, a serious low carb started. Okay. So, that's a journey in short from uh, getting diagnosed to start of low carb. 
that's a very interesting journey uh, it does take a lot of courage to take a leap of faith and uh, you know uh, experiment with diet i know people are more comfortable doing it with like you said uh, methi tea and uh, <laughs> uh, you know karela juice and all that uh, but yes uh, realistically speaking it doesn't help a lot unless the carbohydrate count comes down unless the sugar intake that we consume can uh, potentially come down um you mentioned that after a good report you reverted back and then you used the word serious low carb can you elaborate on that uh, when you saw a cleaner report you went back to original way of eating with high carbs or what yeah, more or less more or less after seeing five yes you know within first two or three months that claudication part uh, was uh, there was a bit of a relief so i could walk around uh, three kilometers per meal per meal not at one stretch right now i thought i mean we'll come to this point even uh, when we talk of the current years report yes i thought theek hai if walking and exercise can help then uh, might as well might as well you know go back to what i was doing not to full extent but yes a bit of a more of a control maybe 150 160 170 carb okay and walking around but uh, 6.0 came as a shock again Right. Because you know, ultimately the term pre-diabetes somehow did not uh, you know uh, uh, gel with my thinking because ultimately either you are a diabetic or you are a non-diabetic. Like uh, I most usually say, you know, diabetes is like pregnancy. Either it is a yes or a no. Nothing <laughs> in between. So Absolutely. pre-diabetes, pre-diabetes term I never believed in, and my then my primary target was. Five point six max, right? And from then on, I think next one came to five point four or five point two. I mean, uh, the data is there. So thereafter, five point four, five point two, five point six, except for one reading of five point seven. For all these years, it has been five point six max, zero pill. I think that's important. Zero pill. Zero pill. Zero walking now. Except for last eight months, which we'll uh, talk about it later when we talk this year's report. Yes. What was driving you to be pill free? What really made you want to look that direction? A lot of people don't even think about that direction. Basically, basically, you know, once you start reading, you get to know what will happen. <laughs> And uh, since at that time there was nobody around to help. But yes, Western Forum. They used to, you know, tell you what the implications could be, complications could be if you do not control your blood sugar. And uh, they always, you know, hinted at five point six is max, but better stay at five. That was their target: stay at five point zero. Now that was a bit difficult for me, so I decided my, you know, my own uh, threshold number to be five point six max. And uh, the primary aim for going on uh, low carb was uh, yes, I don't have to rely much on medicines. And that time my idea was, you know, let's see how long can I, how long can I pull along without medicines. Right. So that was the primary objective: avoid medicine because of the bits. This low carb uh, experimentation started. So when you got started with the low carb, did you ever envision twelve years that you'll be pill free? Sorry, or was that just a hope? Did you envision that twelve years plus you oh, will be pill free, right. or was that a hope? This was somewhere around I think twenty sixteen or something. I came across a video of uh, Jay Wortman, mm -hmm. Doctor Jay Wortman, and that video was recorded when he had completed twelve years. Of uh, being a diabetic on zero pills. So when I saw, even when I saw that, it was a surprise to me, and I always wished at that time, hope hope that I reach you know that twelve uh, years. But uh, then I set a target for myself that once I complete ten years, will I come on a podcast? <laughs> right. Yes. So, yes. After ten years. That was my first uh, video appearance. Before that, audio there was one. So I did not expect. Nobody expects. Only thing is, you know, you take uh, one quarter at a time, one year at a time, 
stick to your target stick to your schedule that's it okay that's uh, you know that's always a hope for anybody who's a diabetic who's a pre diabetic to know that there is another way out without medication because see it's not just about diabetes the disease itself the medication and the side effects that it can pose right that's one of the reason when you said you know when you start reading you understand why you want to be pill free uh, there's a lot of side effects that comes with being a diabetic first of all uh, the symptoms and everything has been extremely uh, uh, you know as one of the symptoms that nano did mention not able to walk right uh, due to muscular pain it was basically claudication what i you know tried to find out it was so severe that once it struck i could not even take one step forward the right. pain was so severe yes and uh, that can be controlled with uh, drugs there are really good drugs that have come into the market right now with a lot of research behind diabetes uh, but with those drugs come quite a bit of uh, side effects right and uh, perhaps the numbers will look better because of the medicine but you also know there's some other numbers that start going haywire as a result right so that's that's one of the main reason most of us uh, you know at least on the dl platform i think we are commonly uh, connected because of this that we tend to have uh, you know want to be pill free because it's not just the disease it's also the side effects that we want to stay away from uh, 12 years is a long time starting 13th year uh, that's huge number right it's not it, and that that can definitely prove that it is time tested what has been your mindset to sustain through i know you mentioned about some up and down uh, while you're talking about this what i'll also do is pull up this um, you know the bar graph that uh, you know shashikant uh, prepared on your behalf uh, and uh, let's look at your uh, numbers the hba1c readings over the years and understand uh you know talk about it you know how has your mindset been how has it been sustained for so many years because it's not about few months it's years together right i'll share the screen but uh, you can talk about it i hope the screens come up second slide i think yes and you can go ahead yeah so talk about your mindset because this has been from may all the way till uh, may 2011 till february 2023 and that is time tested for a very long period of time question what happened was you know uh, 2013 like two years i was very rigorously testing also in lab then 2013 there was a community launched uh, somewhere operating out of outside of uk where only indians were there now <clears throat> what happens is when you get into a community uh, you do get lot of you know when there is interaction uh, you are motivated also to be that way okay. and uh, since i was you know more or less hand holding then so i had to be very sure of what i am saying or what i am uh, you know i could right now uh, from then on 2014 we launched the uh, line community site and 2021 till 2021 it was a uh, basic primarily because of the community support you know on learning from others uh, especially shashi arun and many others you know so that uh, kept us on track for most of the time <laughs> and not just me and not just me you know everyone uh and as i said take yeah. a take one quarter at a time after se uh, se september 2013 mm -hmm. app testing i stopped and meter was my friend so i used to go by average meter reading of uh, average of everything you know uh, random pp and fbs okay. so i could understand if i am meeting let's say 125 130 there so that may 110 
के आसपास होगा विच इज रफली अराउंड फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स दिस ट्रेंड दैट वी सींग यू डिड मैंशन अबाउट इट द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट यू हैड यूर रीडिंग इट केम डाउन टू एच पी एन सी रीडिंग ऑफ फाइव then it jumped to 6 and then again that has been a decline uh, we see a 5.7 reading sometime in may 2020 tell us about that yeah 5.7 this was uh, march i think the test was done on 14th of march 2020 okay and that's when that's when you know first uh, phase of covid has struck mm -hmm. now surprisingly i don't know how Uh, right on the first day of March, March first, uh, I was down, and fourteen days of hell, really hell, like hundred and two, hundred and three temperature and body ache, coughing, everything was going on. And uh, when I wanted to get tested for COVID, I was refused because I did not have any travel history. And back then they were only you know testing for uh, any person with symptoms if they had a travel history. Correct. So what happened was uh, on fourteenth of March, it happened as if you know some switches turned off. Everything was normal. I was normal. I could walk, talk, and no coughing, no body ache, no pain. Okay. So that's when I thought you know let's uh, first uh, get the blood test done mm -hmm. and see if there are any issues there. So this. uh 5.7 was just after recovery from presumably uh, covid <laughs> my cholesterol had dropped to 100 my i think um, hdl was down to 20 uh -huh. inflammation was up so indirectly i could conclude yes there was some issue or i was possibly struck with uh, covid so this uh the one off chart reading that we can say yeah, 5.7 5.7 and only that yeah so that has been a result of uh, possible covid not sure still yeah possible i mean possible. indirect indirect conclusions going by the inflammation uh, marker i think hscrp and all was pretty high okay <coughs> and uh, again back to uh, what so low carb even during covid or uh, you know during covid i could hardly eat eat okay hardly eat yes okay so uh, today's latest report uh, that was done this past week uh, yeah. on uh, 14th uh, february came up with a reading of 5 uh, 5.5 is that right 5.5.6 5.6 right okay. tell us about that what is your thoughts what is how have things been uh, looking at that reading because yes it has been uh, many year uh, you know completing a big year and uh, tell us about that see if i look at 5.6 in isolation very hard yes right like, but <clears throat> uh, i think i have tested insulin thrice fasting insulin one was uh, post covid that was i think 8.7 then then after that uh, one test was done it was 8.1 something now this reading now is 11.7 fasting insulin that's great so if i look at 5.6 in isolation yes i should be given a gold medal <laughs> but if i look in you know combination with the uh, fasting insulin it is not a good sign right now as i said you know we'll discuss the details uh, that jump from 5 to 6 and we'll extend that to current report so what i've been doing since uh, roughly around june 2020 2022 so from june onwards uh, i'm living a certain dream which has made me into you know uh, i've been walking around a lot climbing stairs a lot throughout the day morning i step out after breakfast then throughout the day they just took up a tea and nothing else so what i thought was you know there's so much of uh, physical movement exercise and all that so let me relax a bit the diet as uh, sachi says you know on these stunts i would not like to discuss but in general the carbohydrates went up okay 
right? And uh, that's obviously reflected in my fasting insulin number. Mm -hmm. So fasting insulin kicked high, just kept my A1C to the borderline. Now what I'm trying, I'll try to you know emphasize here is the myth that exercise, walking, and all that. You know, if it, it can cover your uh, numbers very decently, the answer is no. <laughs> if it is looked at individually, answer is yes. But if you look at, you know, in combination with insulin, then it has been a horrible eight months as far as lifestyle is concerned for me. Right. Now I am switching back slowly to what I used to do. Okay. So in conclusion, uh, you are... Uh, Lacto over vegetarian dependent yes. on dairy and eggs. No, no, even uh, chicken and all I can take, not an issue. Okay, all right. Primarily, uh, okay. primarily it is lacto over, okay. and within lacto over, primarily it is lacto. All right, so heavily diet, dairy dependent, yeah, heavy, heavy dairy dependence okay. because uh, milk equivalent, if I talk, you know, it must be around one and a half liters per day, the okay. equivalent. That's uh, really good. Concord, paneer, and yeah. coffee. Right. <laughs> uh, and uh, despite of this, you have been a strong advocate of uh, walking, stair climbing, you know, bringing in um, some light to heavy uh, weights and resistance training. Yes. Yes. And despite this experience, and despite being pill free for over 12 years, you are ready to conclude that it only makes us very uh, small to slight difference on the blood sugars right. as a face value in terms of number but what is truly going on inside is a whole other picture the fasting insulin was is terribly high yes so uh, so the so in conclusion uh, the uh, normal or the uh, mainstream uh, uh, diabetes remission ideas which include uh, heavy workouts, which include frequent meals. All this does not work no matter, even if you take the exercise aspect of it and put it into low carbohydrate approach, which you have predominantly been on. Yeah, eat less, work more does not, does not work. It does not work. That's right. And uh, uh, what is it that you'd like to uh, conclude in all of this? Because 12 years has been a significant amount uh what does next 12 years look like for you next 12 years again you know uh, take one year at a time and uh, looking at fasting insulin of 11.7 i guess i can pull along for another 12 years without medicine yes there may be a few ups and downs uh, with respect to agency but that's okay part of life uh, we aim for something we may hit that number or be below that number once or twice we may be above that but by and large, as far as you are disciplined, it's okay. I mean, we are not, I'm not a purist that, you know, I have to hit uh, 5.3 and below. I'm happy with 5.6 and below. So ideally, I should be 5.3 and below. Right. And uh, looking at another 12 plus years, I, I, I would really like to host that uh, session for you as well, 12 years from now. <laughs> Well, All next things. next two years, first thing is I want to be in half, half sleep. <laughs> yes, you've been mentioning that. That's my that. target. That's my target. You're mentioning that. Um, I would like to also ask you one more thing. You said your starting weight was around 83 kgs when uh, you were diagnosed by your doctor back in 2011. What's your current weight now? Sorry, current weight. Current weight it varies uh, 71. Okay. Around about 71 is average. Now, uh, for a pretty long time, I was stuck at 75 mm -hmm. and FBS used to be high. PPBS was in control. I mean, this 5.2, 5.4 readings, weight was around 74, 75. Okay. But FBS used to be around 115. So, in effect, it was actually around uh, 8 kgs average of a weight loss that you also uh, saw weight loss is by the peak that i got i you know i had come down to 70 very quickly okay so 17 kg weight loss then picked up again right i hovered around 72 to 75 
Now it is between 69 and 70. <clears throat> So I think this is a trend that we see in a lot of people. This can be a little disheartening for a lot of people also that, you know, you lose a certain amount of weight, you gain anywhere between uh, two to five kgs, depending on how, uh, how much of a lifestyle deviation that happened with the carbohydrates. And, uh, you know, it also takes a whole nother mindset to come back to that original lowest weight that you lost initially, right? Uh, uh, I just want to touch upon a little bit on that, on uh, what really brought that about, what was the significant change because the original 13 kgs when you lose it will be diet dependent and you gain maybe 2-3 kgs, how did you come back to that minus uh, diet, and, diet and mindless walking. Mindless walking, yeah. I think that's, that's the takeaway in this. <laughs> I call it mindless walking because, you know, uh, if you're walking four kilometers per meal, three meals a day, 12 kilometers, and imagine walking on road in month of June when you have nobody in sight. Right. You have to walk. You have to walk to control your blood sugar. Now, uh, that was the time when, you know, diet plus this amount of walking, it quickly got me down to that level. Then... Uh, I could not have walked so much for life, for sure. So as you know, I think it was uh, Professor Tim Noyes who said that if you have to walk to control your weight or exercise to control your weight, then that's, that's not the way. Yes. So then I stopped walking. Completely. <laughs> so yes, gradually, I mean, there was not a major change in diet, yes, sir, from uh, 70 to 70 to 75. But yes, I stopped walking completely. And from then on, I'm a practically a sedentary person. Okay. On desk most of the time, except for last eight months. Right. And last eight months also reflect that walking and you know slogging like a horse does not make a difference as long as your diet is not done. That's fasting insulin and uh, fasting insulin basically reflects that. That is true. Uh a lot of takeaways, uh, you know, you touched upon mindless walking, you touched upon being disciplined, you touched upon, uh, you know, taking it one year at a time. 12 years doesn't happen overnight, it, it happens six months to one year at a time. Uh, constant re-evaluation, constantly uh, rechecking into what, uh, what your blood parameters are, evaluate the last six months because uh, this is something I like to tell all my clients as well, that life keeps happening. You know, you can't stop life to fix your health. You can do it for maybe three months, six months, maybe even a year. But after that, life will catch up to you. So it has to become a lifestyle, right? And that requires very continuous and regular monitoring. Uh, you know, if somebody thinks that, uh, you know, a very close analogy I like to give is on terms of finance. You know, you can't think finance will keep running. You have to sit down and reevaluate at least once in three months, once a month, depending on where your uh, status and where what your uh, income is, your health is also similar. You have to sit down and reevaluate uh, frequently. It is something that has to be worked upon. It's like a it's like a muscle that needs regular care. It cannot grow or it cannot flourish without sufficient. So, talk to us a little bit about D life uh, and what it's you know, helping other people achieve and uh, how can somebody also look at themselves and be pill free for 12 plus years or much longer than that? See, initial three years, it was a very dedicated effort, conscious and dedicated effort. Uh, before it, this lifestyle became a habit. Now, why did it become a habit? Because 2014 August, we launched the community site. And therein, you know, all of us met. And initially, it was more of a, like, uh, I would say, comparative, uh, you know, improvements. If, uh, let's say, I land 5.4, I used to admire Shashi, who used to land 4.7. Then I used to think, how he lands 4.7, I don't know. Then he says, it's keto. I said, I cannot follow. <laughs> you know, then when community comes in, uh, there's a support system. Now, 
support system in community is fine. Uh, it will take a lot of uh, willpower on your end also. <laughs> yes, I have to do it. Now, how does that come? Let's say for a person of my age, either I become completely careless. Jo hoga, dekha jayega, khayenge, piyenge, okay. <laughs> and uh, a person who thinks of family, you know, if there is a liability, liability in the sense people are dependent on me. Now, what if, what if, you know, I'm not, I'm no more. Or I'm so badly ill that they become bankrupt. Right. These two extremes, these two extremes, once you start pondering over it, everything will become easy. But <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, what happens is when you start uh, changing, you'll have too many diabetes experts, you have too many nutritionists coming in from within your colony, apartment, flat, wherever, wherever you stay. Are, thoda to khao, ek se kuch nahi hota hai, to le lo. I was told, is, you know, sasaral ke mithai se kuch nahi hota hai, khao. Ab mein kya bolu? I politely smiled, took a, you know, half a bite and said, okay. So that is where you have to be very mindful. And as I always say, you know, in my book, there's nothing uh, restricted. Be mindful of what you're taking. And over the years, as we have learned, either through a you know, dedicated course like you, Sachi Arun and Kaji Bhav Mahesh, you have learned how to listen to your body. So, let's say if you have to cheat, I always say prepare your body before cheating and prepare it after cheating. Yeah. Now, the amount of struggle that goes into one day's cheating, if you can do it... Uh, all 365 days a year, it would be magic. And uh, those are what you call as stunts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are called as stunts. I would not like to discuss It's them. not to be recommended. <laughs> but uh, absolutely, uh, the course has been extremely helpful. Uh, you know, we, we do guide people. Uh, we have people who have graduated. We have people like me who are still pursuing the course. But uh, end of the day, you know, if you are able to uh, study your body and understand the G Life Diploma Program, which is from a reputed institute called Pioneer Institute, uh, which is also NAC accredited, can be a perfect place if you would like to help others as well and not get into any legalities. Uh, if you would also like to, uh, you know, just understand your own self. Uh, you know, D-Life community itself can help this better to manage yourself, your diabetes, because it's a disease for life. That fact doesn't change just because there's a low carb intervention or a keto intervention. It is a disease that you're prone to, you, that gene has been triggered at any point of time, you know, at the moment your lifestyle, uh, you know, puts in a lot of, in your lifestyle, you start consuming more carbohydrates, it can create a big problem for you. So, uh, you know, uh, I think uh, we can conclude on this. Is there anything else anybody would like to ask? If there's any questions for either Anoop or if there is any questions uh, for anybody else, you know, I think all, anybody can uh, just unmute and ask the question. And uh, yeah, I mean, Anoop, congratulations on being pill free for so long and here's hoping for many, many years more with our pills. Yeah, thank you. It's all a teamwork. Yeah. Still, uh, it is a teamwork. Oshini, this is Mahendra. Yeah, go ahead, Mahendra. Yeah, Anupji, congratulations for being pill free for last 12, 12 years, right? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Again, again, there's, you know, something, this is not something I end game. We have to continue to do same thing for years together. Another 12 years, 24 years, whatever it is. Right. I have been following Shashi. Uh, I was a colleague for Shashi for uh, quite long time. And I have been following Shashi for quite long time. Uh, these two years of lockdown helped me a lot. I was weighing 91 kgs before that. My height is around 174, 5'10", right? So ideal weight comes to be around 72 kgs or 74 kgs. Yeah. In these two years, I kept on walking and I followed the diet also. And uh, I was 76 kgs. But again, after this COVID, my job, uh, you know, uh, out of compulsion, I have to travel. 
so again this diet has slipped and uh, again i have put on a weight now i am again 84 85 kgs so balancing this diet is becoming a you know problem for me i remember i have attended one one of the diabetologist uh, education program and one of the patient you know because diabetes was uh, this anti diabetologist was saying that you cannot eat this you cannot eat that you cannot eat this ultimately patient landed up asking tell me something which i can eat <laughs> in a similar situation i am also in i am a vegetarian i don't eat anything non veg sometimes i do eat egg because you know i have to take a protein so but out of you know i don't like to eat egg but yes i do take egg sometimes otherwise paneer you know i cannot just keep on eating only paneer salad okay. is another option that's all yeah you want me to answer that yes <laughs> that yeah. is what so no, one same. take home message for me today was you know something you know we keep on taking uh, milk right okay so see since you mentioned uh, shashi yeah he has been a traveler all his life because of his uh, professional commitments right um, i mean he had a travel kit which included many things uh, which suffices uh, his very strict keto diet regimen right. i mean i follow low carb he is on a keto diet and as far as vegetarians are concerned you know I, just as i said i'm primarily a dairy dependent uh, type 2 diabetic mm -hmm. now <clears throat> as far as uh, options for eating paneer yes you cannot eat every day but uh, hung curd you can eat uh, three times a day not an issue mm -hmm. you can have you know n number of variations out of hung curd like my hung curd if uh, i convert it to milk it must be around Uh, roughly around a liter of milk equivalent of hunkard. Okay. आप hunkard में कुछ भी मिला लीजिए, anything, any nuts, anything, and just enjoy it. Okay. And uh, carrying nuts while you are traveling, that is okay. point number two. Uh, rest, Sashi will tell you know he he carried I think he carries uh, even uh, protein uh, sachets. Right. Eggs you can take if you can take two, fine. If you can take four, well and good. If you can take six, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And nuts uh, means this, you know peanuts or uh, almonds also I can take. Sorry. What type of nuts? Nuts you mentioned. Nuts, right? uh, salted peanuts, soaked okay. almond, or even dry. I mean, unsoaked would do like if you are traveling. Okay. And uh, walnuts. Okay. These three nuts. Basically, we say you know keep hundred grams of nuts a day in any combination of these three. Mm -hmm. uh, that will get you around six hundred kilo calories. uh then balance i mean one third of your uh, kilo calories are taken care of with just around 18 grams of carbohydrate maximum okay now if you're on a low carb we've got uh, roughly around 80 grams of carbs to play with mm -hmm. playing with 80 grams of carb even if you take a bit of rice it's very easy okay and not so necessarily you're... boiled egg. boiled eggs you know you can take scrambled and make fried rice out of it ओके नॉट नेसेसरीली दैट यू नो बॉइल्ड एग एंड ऑमलेट ही चलेगा आपने मान लीजिए 50 की 50 ग्राम्स ऑफ कुक्ड राइस यू हैव टेकन यू डाइल्यूटेड टू यू नो बल्क बल्की फ्राइड राइस आई एडिंग एवरीथिंग इंक्लूडिंग स्क्रैम्बल्ड एग पनीर मटर व्हाटएवर यू हैव अल्टीमेटली इट इज बेसिकली क्या होता है जब uh, एक हंगर होती है जहां पे आपको लगता है कि मैंने खाया नहीं हां uh -huh. okay. वो क्या होता है जब वो ऐसे ही होता है व्हेन वी आई मीन आई वुड गो टू एक्सट्रीम एंड इफ आई गजल डाउन वन टू लीटर बॉटल ऑफ कोक मेरे को फिर भी आधे घंटे बाद लगेगा मैंने कुछ खाया नहीं राइट माय पॉइंट राइट इशू इज इफ यू लुक एट द अदर वे अराउंड ईट एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग व्हिच स्लोस डाउन योर स्टमक एम्प्टी ओके एंड देयर इन कम्स प्रोटीन एंड फैट ठीक है Okay. So and don't go by volume. I mean, if I go by volume of food, I think I must be eating around one third of what I used to eat. Earlier. Okay. So never eat by clock. Eat only when hungry. If you are very hungry, you don't have anything. You are carrying nuts. Order a cup of coffee, one fistful of nut, done. Okay. Okay. 
it's very easy sir even on uh, vegetarian it is very easy not as easy as a uh, non vegetarian but it is not impossible then it the way you mentioned right you know if i don't want to be you know die ill yeah uh, <laughs> want to live a long life for a feel free then i have to i have to you know, make it a lifestyle right i managed it for two and a half years but the uh, off late recently i lost the track sir if but you if could I'm do it now i get my yes if you could do it for two and a half years you can very well do it for 25 years yeah, yeah that is what right it just needs a bit of an effort and uh, occasionally you know you may fall off the wagon that is okay as long as you get back on track so the next what, day. how how frequent this occasion can be sorry how frequent this occasion can be how frequent i would say you know uh, treat yourself once a month okay. that's all okay once a month and that to prepare your body for that treat okay okay thank you yeah. if i if i see my a1c if i if a doctor sees a1c they will say you are excellent you are non diabetic but if i see my a1c and fasting insulin i am not happy right you mentioned it I think Shashi. Yeah, Mayendra. Yeah, Shashi. Yeah. See, Mayendra, how is it? It is a trade-off. Right. Either you enjoy what you want, mm -hmm. and then spend in the community where you are working. That is the medical and hospital industry. You you enrich them, or you do little <laughs> trade-off. Okay. So that's right. what I say. That you know, I was always in. i from selling medicine to helping people get off medicine is what i am doing now right right okay right. so i am also like anup singh i am following now for 6 6 years 7th year right so, so if i had not followed this then i would have been on minimum 3 drugs by now and anup would have been minimum 4 drugs going by the trend in the current scenario right, right. there was a time when seniors were controlled with only Uh, uh either glebenclamide or metformin for two three decades for three yeah. decades my father was controlled with only euglucon and metformin mm. but today we see by within 10 years people land up with insulin so modern environment is very toxic and it is your choice it's a trade off and yeah. in case you are traveling my suggestion is just pop in couple of tablets of metformin i don't mind in those traveling days it will help you get once home you get to look up I know in traveling it is very difficult sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So this See, simple you know, thing which you can adopt, and it's a mindset basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am. I do agree to that. Or oh, that is no other thing. If you are convinced that the lifestyle will help you, you will do. Otherwise, we will keep falling off wagon, wagon. I never fell off. Let me tell you, not one day. It was only due to compulsion. If there was festival, if I am stuck up yeah. somewhere, if I am on a holiday, even then I will be mindful. So that was no. not one day i took off there is no concept of cheating in my di in my diary right. deviation I... yes no cheating mahendra when i met shashi for first time uh, you know he treated me to coffee out of dabur coconut milk in hotel oh god theek okay. hai and no, he was carry, he was carrying two avocados as a gift for me there <laughs> this this was a seriousness शशि very uh, picky about for whatever reason it could be right uh, and if you can look at your health that way i think uh, the need for cheating or the need for indulgence is the word i like to use rather than cheating goes away question this is a good point i'll now remember this do you <laughs> cheat on meat i mean if someone is a vegetarian will you take meat <laughs> he will not take i am going to remember this whenever this is people keep tweeting on something else nice point Yes. This is what I tell all my clients, <laughs> because everybody has something that they are very particular about. Something that they are. You just have to bring that point to your health. See, whole of my family is a non-vegetarian except for me. 
and that is very unfortunate that is <laughs> I, that's what i say in the i in fact if you are in twitter I, that's what i say in this country we are not vegetarians or non vegetarians we are all grainitarians we want grains yeah. without grain whether you're veg non veg makes no difference at all right. we want grains just eliminate that grain yeah yeah push me anyone else who wants to ask any question yeah anybody else has any questions to ask Yeah, hello, Sasi sir, Bhavan here. Go ahead. Bhavan bhai, bolo Bhavan bhai. Uh, first of all, uh, let me tell you, uh, my HB1C, uh, Octo uh, October 2021 was 8.3. And in April, I made it uh, 5.5 without medication. Sir knows it. And uh, I would say what sir has told, I followed 60-70% of it, not even 100%. Uh, because of, you know, I was very strict on it, but then there were compulsions and sir knows that in, during field work, it's not possible. But with that also 5.5, I just did an HB1C two months back, it was 5.3. It came to a surprise to me. So everything is going well, uh, but not as strict as what sir told and when I was following it during that time of uh, uh, October 2021 till April 2022, it was very strict. So somewhere, sometimes a little bit more of rice or some uh, roti also I take now. Uh, my only question was that uh, everything continues. Uh, I am not taking sweet, zero sweet, zero potato, very mindful taking carbs. Uh, but sometimes, oh, our colleague told us that paneer is a lot. So one week, it feels like that, man, बहुत हो गया पनीर नट्स आई एम कैरिंग इट ऑलवेज ओनली माय क्वेश्चन इज कि मेरा वेट जो जो पहले 101 था वो जब मैं स्ट्रिक्ट था तो 88.2 हुआ था अब वो वापस 92 हो गया है सो व्हेदर इट्स अ गुड व्हेदर इट इज बैड आई डोंट नो सो वन वन शॉर्ट आंसर इज कट डाउन कैलोरी इनटेक आप ज्यादा खा रहे हो ठीक है वो मेरे साथ भी हुआ था uh, in, intake versus your consumption is high. So okay. cut down, cut down the calorie, stop roti. I am never in favor of a roti. I prefer taking rice than, uh, as far as choice between roti and uh, rice is concerned. Because roti, one roti, you know, you cannot fill up that much as compared to rice by diluting into a fried rice. Okay, roti is 40 gram ka banega, 22 gram carb hoga. A 22 gram carb may you can make uh, roughly around 100 grams or 150 grams of nice fried rice. So, agar aisa hai to thoda rice matlab ho, lekin roti, uh, roti where uh, I will be sticking, uh, thoda leniency ho gaya tha, but I will mm -hmm. stick to that almond roti uh, type of. Yeah, that is fine. That is fine. I am talking of wheat roti. <laughs> Haan, wheat nahi. Wo almond ke saath, coconut ke saath, wo thoda, wo thoda gunne ke liye thoda aata dalte hain wo. Nahi to banti nahi. Thoda hi, thoda hi to gadbar karta hai. <laughs> nahi nahi sir, wo thoda hi hota hai wo. Samjho twenty percent, but wo I wo do. Use basin instead, instead of uh, uh, wheat. Esa kya? Basin use karne ka, wo try karte hain. Sabko. Bhavan kaisa hai ke since you are in field work. So, थोड़ा बहुत ये सब disturbance होगा तो थोड़ा intelligent choice करना मैं उतना ही बोलूँगा I am not against avoiding anything just keep it a small portion and select foods which will not impact your blood sugar much simple है ठीक है अगर वो छोड़ दिया नए अभी एक का बदली मैंने चार लिया तो गड़बड़ हो जाएगा वो सही जो पहले जो अनुप सर ने बोला ना पहले से थोड़ा intake बढ़ गया ऐसा भी लग रहा है ना I just wanted to, I didn't want to even sell, tell the answer. I wanted to ask yourself. <laughs> you will say, who is my coaching? I'll ask you a question. And you yourself will answer that. Yes, yes. yes. So you yes, know sir. what to do. So, dekho, pehla kaisa tha, Bhavan, hmm. main, it was very difficult for me to do keto at home. I actually used to do keto when I was traveling. Hai? Because bar koi bolne wala ne tha, ghar pe phat -phat tha. Baad mein situation badal gaya. बाद में क्या वो वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट कीटो एट होम और बार थोड़ा लीनियंसी हो जाता है वैसा है ठीक है तो इवन देयर आई यूज्ड टू टेक सम मेजर्स सो एट होम इफ योर फैमिली इज कन्विंस्ड देन दे विल सपोर्ट यू नहीं नहीं यू हैव टू बी कन्विंस्ड नहीं सपोर्ट तो है सर 
और सब चीज में सर अगर किसी दिन डोसा भी खा ला, खाने का हुआ ना उस पे चीज डाल देता हूँ बहुत सारा घी टू बोथ साइड ऑफ रोटी डज नॉट मेक इट लो कार नहीं नहीं वजह इसके आओ तो दर इस दर इस दर इस दर इस ब्लंटेड इम्पैक्ट ऑन राइजिंग ब्लड शुगर इट डज हैपन सो आई डोंट माइंड एंड इफ आई स्टक अप इन अ होटल आई एम हंगरी यू आर इन अ ग्रुप यू कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग देन माय चॉइस इज ऑलवेज इडली राइट देन डोसा बिकॉज़ आई फाइंड फॉर मी डोसा स्पाइक्स हेवीली देन it will lessen okay. the impact compared to dosa is bloody it will spike like hell it takes Achha. you about 200 so, okay i thought bowl are the same ha to subah even oh, i used to think like that but when i actually measured my blood sugar then i found the impact is different whatever reason okay theek hai na paneer also to get over that aversion towards it i tell people this just eat it after you get aversion also if you want go throw up it's okay After a point, you'll get used to it because as a baby, when your mom or dad, whoever fed you rice or roti, they didn't listen to you crying because you didn't know how to talk and say, "मुझे ये aversion हो रहा है." फिर आदत पड़ी. Just like that, train your body to eat whatever you have to eat. That's what I. Hosni, Hosni, I am eating egg, egg and paneer and hunger. Last three, four years, continuous both time. morning and lunch and dinner i'm not a, sometimes i used to make something ek ka different version bana liya ya fir wo paneer aur uske hand cut mein kuch mix kar liya nuts mix kar liya kuch bhi lekin mere ko mere to chal hi raha hai wo because i don't have any other option na to wo aapko khana hi padega sir hand cut cream strawberry nuts 7 to 800 kilo calorie ka ek ek meal ho jata hai Yeah. and all done all done in 10 minutes a strawberry is very good it, it ch- just change the taste of that but okay. i prefer to have just hunkered and uh, paneer fresh paneer uh, homemade paneer that's all as yes, i said you know make intelligent choices and uh, play around and play nahi sasi ne itna 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 protein 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 kiya na ya protein ke bahar kuch sochte nahi hum जैसे सौ ग्राम प्रोटीन लो जाए जैसे भी लो जैसे भी लो सौ ग्राम प्रोटीन ठीक है वो माय सन सेज यू नो यू स्टफ योरसेल्फ विद एग इवन इफ यू डोंट लाइक द टेस्ट यू जस्ट स्टार्ट कीप ईटिंग आह दैट्स राइट दैट्स राइट आई थिंक दैट इज द लर्निंग वी हैड यस वी रियली मेड दिस यू नो द प्रोटीन एस द एस द मेन मैक्रोस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट � even that time yes. i joined 2015 and so that actually we, actually we evolved that <coughs> actually sasi fat lene mein problem nahi hota fat you can take even in coffee na na fat okay. comes with naturally with food that's what uh, i and say. that comes naturally if you're taking egg if you're yeah, taking bun yeah. all all to rehta hi hai na see all but, all animal origin protein uh, contain fat, fat. Yes. even your your curds Or, is animal origin your dahi is animal origin your paneer, paneer, paneer everything your and all contains fat also yeah yeah, yeah yeah shashi one more thing yeah uh, yeah hung curd or curd will not matter right see it no doesn't matter. make much difference in the sense hung curd will drain off some lactose okay if you are at home you can have hung curd if you are out somewhere traveling go ahead and have curds yeah that is what i am saying I cannot, you know, hang curd in a hotel, right? No, that that at home it will not be possible. It is not possible. So yeah. that's what we used to do. You have to do. You have to first of all find a joint where you can stay, a hotel where you will get all your stuff. So mine was always fixed. Wherever I travel, there were my favorite hotels because I know that I am going to get the kind of food which I want. Right, right. Okay, go and have two three cups if you want. Carry stevia drop because mm-hmm. I know you will you will want sweet curd. Put two three drops in there. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Right, right. 
No, actually, Sashi is the field work. No, or when you are in the sales, no, mm -hmm. you have always almost a fixed hotels in different town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are going the same hotel, and all this cook, bara, everybody know you. You have cat, how we can eat. Yeah, yeah. So they will prepare nothing, no problem. And secondly, the best way for Mahendra or Bhavan is try and adopt two meal system. Have load up heavily at home, breakfast. And then come home and have dinner. Have very light something, very very well right in, in, the, in the lunch. You can really avoid all those carby foods outside. Right. Uh, you will hardly have some snacks like peanut or something like that. So, Putni, any other questions? Anyone so one, else? One, one last, uh, you know, uh, uh, just a question is, uh, is it like that ki if we take a high protein diet in breakfast, for example, meat, beet, eggs, or even paneer, uh, you get less hungry at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Uh, other than spoken carbs, you get more hungry. Is it possible like that? Uh, because yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I have observed. If you load yourself on protein, you will not feel hunger very easily. At least okay. I think uh, by six, seven hours, uh, if you are taking almost uh, 40 gram, 50 gram uh, protein in the breakfast, no? by six, seven hours, sometimes even eight hours, you won't feel hungry. So is and it the I protein know. or the fat or the both or Both, what? both. It is both. Both, both. If you are taking, suppose, uh, three egg or four egg omelet in the morning in the breakfast, so it will have a pro uh, protein as well as fat also. So it will go up to four o'clock, five o'clock. Then you might uh, need some uh, munching or something like peanuts or something. And then dinner. That's Sir, all. sir it is just stomach emptying rate. Uh, that's slow, slow that down. Yeah. Slow that down. I think there are some drug also does that. Uh, Sashi would tell. Ojempic. Uh, see, uh, see, fat fiber protein. Fat protein fiber. If you can, If you can make this as a base of your breakfast, then you will not feel hungry for quite a long time. Mm. Because stomach will take yeah. three to four hours to empty. Just take pure protein shake. You take two, three shakes, you will feel hungry quite quickly. Yes. 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 Okay. So it, it requires a combination of protein, fat, fiber. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, one, one last question. Sometimes yeah. if we don't have, you know, a rich protein source, I mean, if we if we take two cheese, it suffices almost. Uh, you can say forty percent to fifty percent two cheese cube, twenty five gram wala, fifty gram ka hua wo, lagbhag uh, thirty forty percent ka ho gaya. Wo bhi chalta hai na taking cheese. Oh, cube. chalta easy. Yeah, one good. cheese cube, one amul cheese cube will give you five gram protein, and around let us say around around eight to ten gram fat. It will just fill you up. Have two three cubes. मुझे याद है चीज क्यूब ना तो आई यूज टू डू टू स्लाइसेज ऑफ द कुकुम्बर टू वन चीज क्यूब इन बिटवीन उसमे it's a healthy way of killing hunger. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of having a kachori or samosa or bhajia. Yeah. Or trying my stunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better than tea. <laughs> Anyone wants to ask any more questions? Any others? Sir, namaste. Namaste. Are Praveen. Sir, yeah. uh, Praveen, bolo. Sir, uh, you are saying uh, paneer and ghee is the source of animal Haan. but sir any difference between soya paneer and uh, soya ke taraf jao bhi mat okay soya acha nahi hai okay 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 sir uske taraf jao bhi mat soya wo baki ke liye rakh do usko lena 
कितना देखेंगे तो कचौड़ी और समोसा से तो अच्छा है ना वो अरे नहीं सर वो तो सही बात है हाँ हाँ तो मैं तो ऐसे ही देखता हूँ ठीक है ठीक है सर वो था लिया तुम्हारा वो कौन सा वो कैफे में क्या खाया था अपन वो मैं आता था ना उधर ओ हॉस्पिटल के बाजू में कौन सा यार वो चाय वाला राजू टी स्टॉल हाँ राजू टी स्टॉल उसका वो मावा मावा जले भी बहुत खा लिया मावा जले <laughs> बहुत पाप कर लिया अपन ने जब बनाता है सर क्या टेस्ट वो तो है सर आप आते थे जब भी खा पाते हैं वैसे मैं भी नहीं खाता अभी तो नहीं वो तो जब से डायबिटीज हुआ तो बन के पहले तो मैं ले लेता ले ले था, था उसे नहीं नहीं मैं भी नहीं खाता सर वो तो जब आप आते हो तो कभी खाया साल में छह महीने में अच्छा टेस्ट है ठीक है सर एनी वन एल्स चल प्रोजन क्या है उसका सिग्नल इशू है चलो ठीक है वी कैन क्वेश्चन यू कैन क्लोज द सेशन या so i think uh, you know it it's des- definitely been a very illuminating session a lot of things to learn uh, you know if if you are seriously considering to uh, go pill free in your life into managing diabetes or managing any other chronic illnesses uh, you know there are ways that you can do it you can reach out to anybody in the life or you can take up the diploma pro- program and self help your way into uh, managing your own health So with this we are done thank you everyone thank you Krishna thanks